coming back in one piece, that's your first priority. Looking good while you do it, maybe a second. <laughs> Granddad started supplying carriages in London. So that's when we started supplying carriages and horses and then so on and dad got into the stunts. So now it's stunts and horses. This is Phoebe's third lesson now. She started on a different horse to what you saw on today. She's very basic riding at the minute, but her confidence is great. So it's easy for us because she's so confident. His improvement from start to finish, actually, in every session has been great. This is the first time I've taught him. I've had my sisters been teaching him before. And he had his first canter out in the open field today, which is really good, and he really enjoyed it. I didn't fall off, I'm still alive, I'm still upright. I'm fairly satisfied with that as an outcome myself. <laughs> I'm not naturally a horse boy, I'm a city boy. I've, ridden horse, I've driven horses before on previous jobs, and I rode a horse once in Texas, but Texan horses are very different. Couldn't tell you why, maybe it's an accent thing, but very different temperament, very different riding. Also got taught very differently. Like Texas was just like, get on a horse and go. It was like, I just, it kind of does its thing. These guys are a little snootier. They know I'm not a rider and they start taking the pee a little bit. And when you're ready, in your own time, I want you to canter. We're just gonna do a slow canter for now, no fast one. Sure. Make him step in. If you want to ask him to do that, make sure you're in control of him. Other than that, once you get to know each other, have a little conversation, you do all right. So he rode a horse called Milo today. We did a lot of working on his control, on his balance, on his turning and emergency stopping. His character is quite a cocky character, so he needs to look like he really knows what he's doing. And we're really getting there. Three, two, one, canter. Good, okay, hands forward and squeeze. Yeah, so 80% of our horses are Spanish because they make all the stunt horses and the actors horses. 20% are Hungarian because they're the big ones for pulling all the carts and carriages. We do all of our lessons with, for example, Phoebe and everyone on the Spanish lot because they're just so quiet. They're such a good breed to do them on. I think I'm not good at being like strong because I don't want nice to. I don't want to. <laughs> no, you're being too nice. You need to be a <laughs> so little bit <laughs> she started off a little bit nervous in her first session, which is understandable. She hasn't got to know the horses yet. Now lean back, pull back and say back. Pull back harder. Back. Pull back harder. Back. Hold that hand. Really pull it. Back. There. Now release it. Uh, That's your back, right? Now she comes in, she's like, come on in, let's go, what are we doing? I want it to come straight away. We're getting there. Whatever period the film is, they've got a weapon in their hand, but in Phoebe's position, as a lady, she should relax her loose hand on her thigh. It's just tradition. Hand on thigh. She went through, I think, three different horses. One she loved, which I knew wouldn't be right for her on set with a side saddle. Another one, which I thought she would love, she didn't love that much. And now we've, she's found one that she's really gelled with and that she's, she's doing a hell of a lot more than I ever thought she would, so. Really impressed. She start, I think from improvement side of it, she's improved from nothing to where she is now more than anyone. So you learn a physical language on a horse. You learn how you communicate with the horse, a bit like how you communicate with a castmate. Um, no offense to my castmates. But there is that two-way communication, which is useful. There's a different way of carrying yourself, which is useful. The same with boxing, like there's a different body language. You can find the game in that, which Phoebe and I started talking about the other day, that there's something about how you come in and out with each other, how you look for openings. Um, and that's the same with dance, where you find a certain physical language that informs your headspace, that informs the mental game, that informs the storytelling game, all the shapes and rhythms and two-way communications to those things I find very, very important and very useful. The relationship between the actress, act slash actor on their horse is massive. If, if they don't feel comfortable, we won't put them on that horse. It's kind of cool because it's not like driving a car or riding a bike or anything. There's a two-way conversation going on at all times. And it's a bit like getting on set with a more veteran actor who actually knows what's going on a lot more than you. And so you kind of have to pay your respects a little bit and go, look, I know that I'm new at this and I know you're better, but also, can I drive? Do you mind? <laughs> so I, I enjoy the fact that there's a conversation going on. It's a little bit more two-way, which if you do it right, means that you're working with someone, um, the someone being your horse, as opposed to just with yourself and tools. Each 
course is different. And once we, we established quite quickly who he was going to be riding. So for him to establish a relationship with that horse in particular has been quite important. I've been on, I think, four different horses here now. And you kind of learn like certain horses, you could set a bomb off next to them and they barely even sniff at it. And then other horses, like the horse I like, the one I'm probably going to be riding, Twig, like that, that dude's a Ferrari. He just wants to go constantly as so they're doing the other thing and you're kind of constantly wrestling him down from 200 miles an hour, which I have no aversion to. I just would like to survive it. And go for it. Go, 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 go. Lean forward slightly. There you go, much better. And then you're going to canter past the gate. You have to feel like you're in control of them the whole time to be confident. Um, so, which is what we were working on massively today. So when he gets back onto Twiglet, I think he'll be, he would have nailed it next time. For us, it's, he's the best type of actor to work with because he wants to look the best and he doesn't want to get doubled either. The first shot we have with him riding, we can't really double him because we pan round onto his face. So he has to be good by the time we do it. <laughs> there's no, there's no, no choice. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. <laughs> good job. Oh my god. Good effort. The most important thing we will try and teach you first is your control and your confidence. Because once you have confidence on a horse and you feel like you're in control, everything else comes easy.